Typhoon Koinu making landfall in Taiwan. So here is Koinu, now on satellite, as you can see approaching the southern tip of Taiwan. That was a Category 4 typhoon with a position of 21.8 degrees north and 121.0 degrees east. The wind speed is currently 130 miles per hour, which is 210 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 938 millibars, which is 28.585 inches of mercury. It's currently moving west at 261 degrees at 8 miles per hour on this October 5th with 5am at Taipei. So the wind fields are here for Koinu, 145 in southern northeast, 170 in slightly southeast, 170 in slightly southwest and 135 inside of the northwest. Anyway, distance in kilometers are this for Koinu, 29 kilometers from Hengchun, 108 kilometers from Kaohsiung City, 148 kilometers from Tainan City, 355 kilometers from Taipei and 412 kilometers from Xiamen. So then the max sustained winds for this storm is 130 miles per hour. The JTWC and Force 13 have it at 130, however the JMA are going for 120 miles an hour on the scale there. The cone that you can see is on the top left shows it just passing through southern Taiwan then heading on to China a possible landfall on the southern tip of Taiwan there and then we'll curve south completely avoiding any landfalls inside of China and we'll continue to head west before then heading south for its current lifetime in the next couple of days. So then the sea surface temperatures for Koinu look like this they're not looking too bad you can see some real hot spots around the southern tip of Taiwan it will dip slightly when it heads towards the west and before it heads south to China but the sea surface temperatures are looking pretty good for it however it is passing over land so we will see how it will perform after it does that. So the multi-model diagnostic is here, the intensity is currently at its peak and all models predict it to drop very, very gradually. Some models like the GFS are dropping it very very quickly. The deep layer shear is the same story, it drops very very quickly, however it stabilizes and possibly goes back up again um, there. The track here, as you can see, it continues heading west and then heads south. Most models are predicting pretty much the same path there and sea surface temperatures will range around the same level as well with some current dips later on.